Good morning. It's time for the Martin Morning Report. It is a Tuesday, May 21st. We've got Hudson on the wrong side of the table. What's going on? Why are you over here, not over there? It's the Martin Morning Report. Five fast <laughs> things from a very, very busy Monday. Monday, May 20. And we're doing it in the midst of a tornado warning. Oh, boy. You hear that? No. Everything looking all right? All right. Performance of the day. Number one. Who is it? Keith Thompson. Keith Thompson. He shot a 69 at the Class 1A state tournament yesterday, state golf tournament. He is on top right now through one day. There are 18 holes to play. And if the tornadoes try to take out those golf courses, we hope they do not. Hope they do not. He would be a state champion. I've seen it before. I don't know why they wouldn't just play Wednesday. I don't know. Sometimes they... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we know this. 69 for Keith Thompson. First place of the Class 1A state tournament. But how about this? Chase Jotty of Cam shot a 70. He's in second. KMA land 1-2 following day one in Class 1A. Also in golf yesterday in 2A, Ethan Cones of Trainer at a 74 and is tied for eighth. Maverick Schwabi 11th with a 75. Kemper boys 10 strokes back of the lead in fifth. Trainer is eighth. Sydney's ninth in Class 1A. Hudson McLaren. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hudson McLaren? Hudson McLaren of Atlantic, a 79. He is in 17th in Class 3A. On to number two, postseason soccer included wins for Underwood, Heelan, Glenwood, and Sioux City East boys and Maryville girls yesterday. Adam Severn scored five goals for Glenwood in their win over Creston. He ties the record, school record, along with Caden Johnson, who just did it last year. Sergio Yangos of Keelan had four goals. Diego Alvarez, Alvarez, that is, of Sioux City East. Jacob Pluger of Lamar's in a game that is suspended with the Bulldogs on top with 29 minutes left in regulation. Jay Lee Price of Maryville girls. Nolan Clark of Glenwood boys also scoring two goals. Number three, baseball. Shenandoah cruises to a win. Red Oak, Glenwood also dominant. Lewis Central, Lamar's swept double headers. Platte Valley on to state in a state quarterfinal. On to a state quarterfinal, I should say. And Lennox. Bedford, Denison Sleswig, Stanton, Ankeny, Ankeny, Christian, Exira, EHK, all other winners. Hunter Dukes led the way last night. Shenandoah stand out. Four hits. Caden Anderson, Tegan Castle, Castle, maybe. God, I wish I knew how to say those. Lamar's names. Uh, Camden Lormer, Dawson Evans of Lennox, all with three hits. You out of here, Hudson? Go take shelter. Brennan Anderson, Keegan Gangler, Matt Gangler. Keegan Gangler, Logan Twyman, Cole Scammon, Preston Flaherty, Gabe Funk, Brody Brokaw, Cole Kastner, Brody King, Tyler Mahoney, Landon Nearing, Dalton Spear, Cooper Oberbrockley, all with two hits. Cole Scammon of Shenandoah, Brody Geeser of Lewis Central, four RBI each. Corbin Pelzer of Glenwood, Dalton Athan, Peyton Kreps, three RBI each. Daniel Shoney of Ankeny Christian, also three RBI. Top pitching performances last night. Brody Taylor of Glenwood, five innings, two hits, no runs. Tate Murphy, six innings, four hits, two earned runs, nine strikeouts for the Mars Bulldogs. Brayden Dreckman, also of the Mars, six and two thirds, 10 Ks, one earned run. I swear, Tate Murphy, I got right. I know I did. Reese Montgomery of Red Oak, four innings, two hits, no runs, 11 strikeouts. Camden Nemitz of Denison Sleswick, five innings, four Ks. Brody Holmes of Stanson, seven innings, two hits, 10 Ks. Eli Christensen, Six innings, two hits, one run, 12 strikeouts for Ankeny Christian. Jameson Kilworth, three innings, two hits, no runs, six strikeouts in relief. Brandon McQueen, six and two-thirds, three hits, two runs, eight strikeouts in that state sectional for Platte Valley. By the way, Jaden Pettipier, tip of the ball cap, bald head, walk-off hit for Xavier EHK. Softball last night. Softball is here. Logan Magnolia and Riverside are both 1-0 in the wick. Lamar swept Sioux City West, Shenandoah, TJ Griswold, Glenwood Atlantic, Essex Southwest Valley, Wayne, Southeast Warren, Woodbine, Clinton Ralston also winners. Big night for Lexi Frank who had four hits. Natalie Vanderloop, three hits, a home run, two RBI. Got that one right. Definitely got to blow up Sarah Brown of Lamar's. Three out of three, two RBI, two run, and a double. Did you hear that? Sarah Brown. I swear it's got to be Sarah Brown. Took a win over Sioux City West 10-1. Tory Burns Three hits, two runs. Addie Resch, three hits, two runs. Emma Jo Harris, three hits. All of those girls from Essex. Bree Mitchell, three hits for Stanton. Cassidy Wank, three hits, an RBI, and scored a couple of runs. Two hits last night. Morgan Rasmussen, Marissa Asklin, Ania Hardy, Morgan Schuler, Hayden Top, Jordan Porsche, Riley Miller, Izzy Moore, who had a go-ahead home run, J.C. Neer, Sturgis Fridley, Anna Hart, Charlie Pryor, Ashlyn Tegas, and Jalen Subert, by the way. If I am getting a name wrong, shoot me a little message on Instagram. Shoot me a message somewhere. Just let me know. Just let me know. I'll get it right. Nevaeh Yale, three RBI last night. 
for Shenandoah. Pitching performances, Peyton Schaefer, five innings, five Ks, one hit. Audrey Cole, six innings, 13 Ks, one earned run. Those two girls pitched in the same game. Riverside beat Mo Valley, one nothing, a stunner. Kylie Hoffman, 10 strikeouts, seven innings for the Mars. Swear that's right. Peyton Nathan, 15 strikeouts in seven innings, a two-hitter. Carly Milliken, three innings, six strikeouts. Tori Burns, 10 Ks in seven innings of work. Hayden Top went nine, six Ks for Southwest Valley. Riley Miller, four innings, seven Ks. Jillian French, 10 strikeouts for Twin Cedars. Kaylin Holmes, seven innings. Charlie Pryor, five innings, 13 strikeouts, no hits. Subert, Jalen Subert, the two home runs. She didn't give up two runs. Six innings, 14 strikeouts for Subert last night. Number five, Ethan Brumbaugh is the new Southwestern Community College assistant golf coach. He's a Rockport alum. Also, Martinsdale St. Mary's is the number one in Class 1A Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union state softball rankings released yesterday. Wayne's number three, Missouri Valley's four in 2A. You also have Griswold, Twin Cedars, Clarenda Atlantic, Sergeant Bluff, Luton, Sioux City East ranked. You can find those rankings at KMALand.com. All of our coverage from last night, KMALand.com. We didn't sit out a soccer game. We covered every soccer game. We got all the soccer games on there. If it was in our town, we'd be at, every, we'd be at all those soccer games. But I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and peace out for the Martin Morning Report on this Tuesday. And we'll talk with you tomorrow.